Welcome back to another L7C duel with the Time Lords. We're going to go ahead and choose paper. They choose paper too. Choose paper again. This time they choose rock, so we're going to go first. We're going to say hi to our opponents and say, say hi to us. We have a pretty good opening hand. We have two Time Lords, a uh, Torrential Tribute, a Metal Reflex Slime, and a Summon Limit. So we're going to go ahead and set the Torrential set the metal reflux slime, and then set the summon limit. We're looking at what our opponent is saying. They're saying they don't have any offensive cards, so this is about to be a real interesting duel. We're going to go ahead and summon the Michion, or Half Boy as we like to call him in my circle of friends. In turn, we're going to see what the opponent is up to. We're going to wish him good luck. So they set, then they activate Pot of Duality and look at the top three cards of their deck, then add one to their hand. They add Neospatian Grand Mole. They set a card, they set another card, and they set three. So they have three back row against my three back row. Okay. So now it's my turn. I draw a Raphion. Then Michion goes back into the deck because of the Time Lord's mandatory effect or the standby phase. They flip up Fairy Box, which is interesting because depending on if they call the coin toss right, can change my monster's attack to zero, which is fine because most of the Time Lords do have zero attack. So I'm going to go ahead and summon Michion, the Time Lord. Um, with his effect after the battle phase, I can have my opponent's life points. So we're going to attack that Face down monster. They activate fairy box. They call heads. Ends up being tails, so their effect doesn't go through. So after the end of the battle phase, Michion effect goes. And then opponent's life points are cut in half. So now we're going to see what they can do on their turn. So they're thinking. And while we're, uh, they activate Golem Centering. So once per turn, they can change this card face down position. And when it's flip summon, they can target one monster on their opponent's field and send it back to the hand. So they do that. Send Michion back to my hand, which is fine. So we're waiting to see what they do. And while we're waiting, check out our other duels on our L7C YouTube channel. We got some great duels. They're gonna see more Time Lords on the channel. So look forward to that. So they set a card. They summon a, another Golem Sentry. Now I'm thinking, don't wanna chain a trap. I'm thinking if I want to activate Torrential or Summon Limit, I'm going to go ahead and activate Summon Limit because of Golem Sentry's effect, that flip summon counts as a summon, and that normal summon would be their second summon. So they can't summon any more this turn. So now we're waiting to see what they do. So they're going to go into battle phase. I'm not going to chain anything, so I'm going to take... 1600 points of damage this turn. Main phase two, they activate Golem Sentry's effect, flip that one face down. Then it's my turn, so we draw a double edged sword. So we're thinking if we want to go into Half Boy again or Raphion, we'll you know, take 800 life points away from them because they'll go with some. Golem Sentry's attack. So I'm thinking of this interesting play with Double Edged Sword. I can attach it to the Golem Sentry and I'll gain 2000 attack. So it'll be a 2800 attack. And then I can summon Raphion and attack him. Basically, it'll look like you get hit twice with 28. Uh, so where he's summoning the Raphion. We're going to go activate Double Edged Sword 
and attach it to the golem century he does gain the 20 the 2000 to become 2800 attack so the opponent flips up lose one turn uh which is fine because i'm not going to special summon anything this turn so i'm not going to chain anything to that activation either so i'm going to attack with raffion so he gets hit with 2800 because of a double edged swords effect and then raffion effect activates and he gets hit for another 28 and we win the duel with a very good combination of Raphael the Time Lord and Double Edged Sword. GG to our opponent. Thank them for saying we have a cool deck. Thank you for tuning in. Like I said, there are going to be some more Time Lord duels on the channel.